Hi everyone, I've got a update to make on the Synology video. I saw that the Synology video did really well and that was how to install uh, Synology NAS on a computer uh, or any computer. But what I actually wanted to make this video was about is you can actually do this in Proxbox. Now, I'm going to make this really easy for everybody because I'm actually going to give you my template for the Proxmox uh, install because I've already kind of uh, done the build and everything else and converted it to a template. So if you have Proxmox, you can just copy this to your uh, backup folders and then just do a restore and it will uh, kind of restore from there. So that makes it much quicker. I will upload it to GitHub as well. Um, I think GitHub automatically looks at the code anyway. I'll need to do some double checking on that, but uh, of of the project. But it's basically just a backup, so you kind of uh, have to trust me. If you don't trust me, then that's fine. I'll show you how to install it as well. Um, so you've got either option. Um, but like I said, it's just a simple backup of a Synology machine. So what I'm going to do is switch over to. Uh, screen capture and we'll kind of go through the template and how I've got it set up in Proxmox and just a little bit more about the Proxmox setup. Okay so I'm on my dashboard and I think for this project I'll just go with my uh, AMD system. This is a little mini PC, it's a Ryzen 9 uh, mini PC. I have featured it on the channel a long time ago but uh, I'll just give you the specs of it. It's a yeah, a Ryzen 9 4900H uh, with 32 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of storage, which will be fine for this. If I go to my backups directory, I've got some backups here, and it's this one here uh, that I've just labeled and called DSM. Uh, and then I'll click restore, I'll pick a drive put it on that one uh, and click restore so with this all I've done is basically created the VM I've not set up set it up as an actual um, Synology NAS yet it's just the install process as far as uh, the kind of template so to speak uh, I'll boot it up and then I'll show you from there so if I go to DSM here let's have a look at the hardware we've got six gig of RAM it's got four cores now you probably want to keep this unless you're running an Intel system you probably want to keep this as x86 version 2 uh, ANES the reason why it's probably better for compatibility than using host because this is a Ryzen system, if I use host, Synology might kick off a little bit because of it's a Ryzen system, not a um, Intel system. Uh, if this was the Odroid or one of them uh, little smaller Proxmox computers, I would set this to host. But because it's a Ryzen, I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, and then the SATA disk is a small 2 gig uh, disk. It's got no hard drives yet. So I'll add a new hard drive. Uh, we'll go on this one again. We'll click raw. Uh, we'll give it, in fact, we're gonna keep that scuzzy actually. Yeah, we'll keep that scuzzy. And then we'll give it, I don't know, 100. I mean, this, I wouldn't run, Synology on this machine anyway. It's just really for this demo. So I'm going to give it a hundred gig uh, Then I've got add hard disk SCSI one and then go And then do 150 And do raw And then do start So yeah, it boots up into the Arc Loader the exact same way as you would install this on uh, any other system. So it should automatically do the install process. I think the way that I've set it up is you just select 
um, select the machine type of machine that you want and then it will kind of reboot and you're ready to pass through your hard drives what you could also do is instead of the passing the hard drives through now you could just wait and do the install process and then put the hard drives through so I'm going to probably give this a smaller model um, something like so I'm going to go across to show all because it's detected that it's running in a virtual machine and it's detecting some of the hardware it's not showing us all of the machines so I know that this one here this DS718 Plus is a 2 bay NAS and I think also and it's going to reboot Yeah, so you've got different modes there that you can select. So if, if for whatever reason your machine isn't booting, you can actually boot it back up and then just go into the config mode and kind of rebuild uh, the, the builder. What I do particularly like about Arc Loader is the fact that you can update it. And one of the benefits of using it in Proxmox rather than a, a hardware is when, for example, at the minute there's an update for uh, one of my systems. Um, yeah, so that's just giving us a note that I was thinking there was something wrong, but that's actually just giving us a note to say that um, we're going to need another disk for the bootloader. For the disk installation, except for the bootloader disk. Right, okay. So let's stop this a second. And I'm going to put a really small drive on it. I think about, I don't know, 32 gigs or maybe put another hundred or something like that uh, so one of the benefits of running it in a Proxmox machine rather than on hardware is when you need to update it you've already got a web UI that you can log into for Arc Loader um, there is actually Arc Loader does have its own web UI I think it, the port if I remember the port I wonder if I've got it down here uh, there is a port that you can go to and actually access Arc Loader itself and you can update it from the web UI uh, but it does, it does make kind of managing it a little bit easier so that's the IP address uh, .at that it's give us so let's go to that yeah so now we're ready so this is just the Synology that I've picked which is the 2 bay NAS uh, and what we will do is go to the manual uh, let me go back again a sec the DS718 plus so this is going to install now I will provide obviously this this template for you to use you can actually find some older templates online but I don't think any you can't you can find templates that are actually using the arc loader so after this video goes out I'll upload that to github uh, and then the templates right there for you to use uh, and as you've seen it's pretty much fresh uh, you don't have to do anything apart from adding the hard drives choosing your model uh, and then booting it up so it's a really easy process there might be some things that you have to change depending on your hardware but the the template you should be able to work with that uh, and get it kind of going okay so it's come back and you would set this up just like you would any Synology NAS uh, you can give it a name like uh, PVE DSM maybe uh, and the password I'm just going to give it anything for now it's getting deleted so I tend to tick uh, just notify me at least then you know what's coming and then you can also check uh, the arc loader wiki just to see if there's any changes or things that you need to do before you uh, update uh, and then I do skip on this uh, and then submit so yeah that's pretty much just like a normal Synology NAS um, it would then go ahead and create this I'm gonna leave this part of the tutorial up to you uh, again I have covered it in other tutorials I mainly just wanted to share the fact that you can set this up in Proxmox and also uh,
give you guys the template so that you can set it up like this in Proxmox exactly the same. So yeah, it's a real quick one from me, but there it is, and I'd be grateful to hear what you think. See you soon.